Can you imagine that I've been reading, I read this a decade ago. Since when, since when was I able to read 10 years ago? Good morning. I just woke up. <laughs> um, it's, well, it doesn't matter what time it is. Let's say it's 8 a.m. Um, welcome to a video that I am very excited to film. And, you know, if you can read, maybe you read the title and you know that I will be rereading The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now, some backstory. I read the entire Mortal Instruments um, series, all six parts, when I was younger. Um, I'm not quite sure what year, but I would guess like late middle school to early high school. So like about 10 years ago. Huh. Uh, also, I do apologize for my lower than usual voice. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but it's okay. I read it and finished, which is my, my mother tongue, my primary language. And I was obsessed and I loved it and I devoured it and I just could not get my hands on the sequels fast enough because it was coming out as I read it and that was that is just the most frustrating experience you can have as a reader is reading a series while it's still in progress. Anyway, the inspiration for this reread came from my dear friend Regina, who um, I think is my go-to girl um, for talking about books. So shout out to her. And she just really likes Cassandra Clare's books. And I was like, hmm, well, when I was younger, I used to read the series and I really liked it. So I wonder if I would also like her other books, which she likes. But then I just don't want to, I don't want to jump to the other. I'm a chronological girl, okay? I like to start from the beginning. And the Mortal Instruments is the original first series in the Shadow Hunters universe, okay? So I decided that we will be doing a reread. And I think this is particularly interesting because let's say for dramatic effect that it's been exactly 10 years since I last read this series. Have I changed? Hopefully. Have my have have my re expectations and my reading preferences changed? Probably not. <laughs> I do like to read children's books a lot of the time. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, I borrowed this from the library because have I, I've gotten really into libraries recently. I used to be um, one of those people, I, I kind of still am, but like I like to own the books that I'm reading so that I can take my time, I can read them whenever. Um, <clears throat> but I wasn't gonna re-spend money on a series that I've already read. Okay, maybe I don't remember like m most of it and you know, whatever, but I also am a library enthusiast. I love the function of a library. I think if you have access to a library, I think you should use it because I love libraries and I want to support my local library. And that's why we got this beauty. I think this, this is just beautiful, the cover art. Um, we got this beauty from the library. And yeah, actually, this is in English, which is one of the um, the reasons why I wanted to reread it because I usually enjoy books more 
in their original language because the more I read in English and the more you know I study English and I do translation work and I just have become really picky with um, translations and it's really annoying and <clears throat> it ruins a lot of reading experiences for me to be honest to be so picky with um, books and translations because you know most of the time they're probably fine but I just really as a reader I'm really just uh, I pay a lot of attention to the vibes and sometimes in the translations the vibe is just not there and that's why I prefer to read books in their original language which is what this is so long story short we are rereading City of Bones by Cassandra Clare this time in English my plan is to read this, check in, maybe try to communicate how I'm feeling this time as opposed to how I remember feeling last time, if that makes sense. Like I kind of really, there is a specific plot point in my mind, it's not in this book but it comes later. And if you have read this series, I think maybe you know what I'm talking about but it's really kind of... Mm -hmm. um, and I'm excited to see how I feel about everything uh, this time around. I'm so excited to get into this, like it's kind of ridiculous, but I'm kind of really excited. Like I'm gonna go, well, have breakfast, but I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and I'm gonna start this immediately. What are sick days for if not reading until you fall asleep? So, come along with me after this insanely long intro to a video that is probably gonna be as long as my fucking life. Um, okay, I will check back in. I can't remember, is there a chapters or something? Oh my god. Just a side note, these illustrations... Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my god, it's everyone's everyone's photos are here. And they're exactly how I imagined them. I love these. The colors are so vibrant. Also, I'm a firm believer in the movie, the mortal instruments, the movie is way better than the series. I watched the first season of the series and I hated it and I don't like the casting and I don't like how they wrote it and if you like the series, good for you. Um, but I just, I think the Mortal Instruments movie was for a fan of the books. It, it followed the book really closely, which is what I enjoy because it's kind of like reading the book with your eyes. Um, and so if you like the series, that's fine. Probably it was good, but I just, I don't like it. Oh, and they also have like illustrations for the different places in the book. I'm going to be so pissed if I love this book all these years later, because I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to buy this exact copy for the illustrations alone. <laughs> and I, and I looked online and this edition is like 30 euros. Okay, anyway, let's get to reading. Okay, see you later. Wait, 
We gotta, we gotta have to book, right? Welcome back to my living room. Um, it's about a week and a half before we last met here, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think I was already sick when I was filming the first clip that you just watched. Um, I'm all better now. I have recovered, I'm doing better. I'm, I am looking a little crusty, but that's because I'm gonna go for a walk and today is hair wash day, you know. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the city of bones. So I'm really not a quick reader. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself a quick reader, um, but something happened <laughs> with this book. And I mean, okay, when I say I'm not a quick reader, I read quickly, but I usually don't arrange that much time for myself to read. So I might read like 15 minutes to 30 minutes per day. Um, so even if I am a relatively speedy reader, if I don't read a lot in terms of time, I'm still gonna take multiple weeks to finish a book. But something happened. This book is about 500 pages long. And I think I entered some sort of a, an episode <laughs> because I, you know, I had the flu, I couldn't go anywhere, so I just sat at home. I literally sat here with my little blanket like this, and I just sat, sat here and read. And I finished the book in five days five days i started it on the 23rd of february and i finished it on the 28th which you know for me that is quick but it's a lot of reading and i think all i could think about was i want to read my book and i really love when that happens because that's really good so anyway my thoughts i have i have a website open about questions that i should answer because i'm really bad at reviewing books so i thought we could look at these questions and then i could answer them and maybe through them we could have some actual content some insights in this video so as we know this is the first part in the mortal instruments series by cassandra clare it's called city of bones and there's a 16 year old girl called Clary who essentially just discovers the world of shadow hunters and all sorts of supernatural beings. And like she discovers a lot of stuff about her family and her relatives and basically like everything that she has ever known is completely She's bamboozled, okay? Who is the intended audience for this book? Um, I don't think it's me, but I have been in the habit of reading books that are intended for an audience younger than me. For some reason, I'm, I'm just vibing with that currently. I think the first time I read this, I was like 13 or 14. So at that time, I definitely was in the demographic and it hit. Any content warnings, violence, and another one. I mean, I don't want to spoil it. If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't know. But I do recommend, if you want to read this, to check the trigger warnings. To me, I don't think anything was like, yikes. But some of the themes are a little bit rough and also there's one specific plot point that i think is kind of a little bit a little bit disgusting so one difference to my previous reading um experience with this was of course the language when i first read this series about 10 years ago uh it was in finnish it was translated and i did really enjoy this in english I enjoy the writing, like I do recognize in some points, just in some points, and I've also, I've heard that her writing has improved a lot uh, in her later books, which I've, I, I believe because 
like the parts that I noted to be a little bit clumsy were not very serious. Like if I were to write a book right now, probably the whole book would be clumsy because I don't have the experience. But I really like the, the writing in English. And here's the thing, like I recognize that I might be a little bit weird, but I really like names. Like I'm really into names, like character names. I have written some stories in my time and I've done some like name research and gather names and I, you know, I play The Sims a lot and I just like names. And certain names just tickle a part of my brain. And in this book, all of the names, every single character name, it feels very good in my brain. Like for example, what's an example that I can give? Currently, I'm... <laughs> This is a really, uh, this is a dumb, maybe not, I'm scared that none of you will agree with me, but currently I'm reading A Court, a court of Thorns and Roses, and one of the main characters is called Tamlin. It does not feel good in my brain. So, in this book, all of the names, like Clary, Jane, Jace, sorry, <laughs> Clary. Jace, Isabel, Alec, Hodge, Simon, um, Valentine, Jocelyn, Luke. All of those names feel really good in my brain. And the last names and all of the names are just so good. I don't know. I don't know. That's just something that I paid attention to when I was reading this book. Because I really, really, really like the names are feel good in my brain. As I said, the purpose of this video was to see if my, like, what I think all this, this um, time later. And the, the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> so this video is kind of pointless, but I feel like I feel so, such heavy nostalgia surrounding this series and this book that I can't really look at it with a really critical eye. Thinking of like the storyline and stuff, I still think it works well. Maybe I don't really relate to the characters as much as I used to because they are teenagers and sometimes they think teenager thoughts. And I saw someone write a review on Goodreads that um, that the characters were really one-dimensional which i am not sure if i even know what one-dimensional really is and like if i if i know how to recognize a one-dimensional character i didn't find it an issue but again it could be because i know what's gonna happen and like I know a lot of the revelations that are gonna come later on. So in my mind, they already are, I don't know. Weirdly enough, like I feel like this, this book somehow put me under a spell or something because I did give it five stars. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, um, but I really, hello, I had a really good reading experience, I had a lot of fun, I enjoyed this story, I still found it gripping and exciting, even though I pretty much remembered most of um, what was happening, um, I didn't find it an issue, I thought it was good, I would recommend it, I think, if you like fantasy and if you like teenagers getting in trouble and feeling a lot of teenager feelings, I would recommend it. I'm about to head outside, go for a walk and return this to the library because someone has reserved it and I want them to get it as quickly as possible so that they can join the City of Bones hype. If you are watching this random person who bought, will loan this out from the library after me, I hope you have fun. Um, we are 
in in line in the queue for the next part so if you would like to see a part two of this video the series where i reread the series of this book you can say so you can tell me i think i might do it anyway no matter what you say because i i just want to do it this has been me reading rereading the city of bones i had a good time thank you for watching um <laughs> this video that had no point um other than me hyping a book that i loved 10 years ago I really like to say 10 years ago because it just sounds so satisfying and it was 10 years ago can you imagine that i've been reading i read this a decade ago since when since when was i able to read 10 years ago let me know if you want to see more okay thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye For... Am I really smart enough to pose for a thumbnail? I, I amaze myself. I amaze myself every day. I always forget to do a thumbnail and this time I remembered.